Hi friends, uh, welcome back to episode 16 of Let's Elden Ring uh, Biting Cat and this is a comfortable playthrough for uh, beginners and people new to From Software games uh, using an intelligence build. Uh, last episode we picked up a handy new talisman, the Great Jars Arsenal, which increases uh, the amount of equipment we can carry. Now, it's uh, that's based on a percentage of our equipment load, which is set by our uh, endurance, which is currently very low at 15. So we're going to be pumping that up and hopefully adding some heavier equipment and increasing our poise, which will make it easy for us to uh, shrug off attacks while we're acting and you know not flinching or getting interrupted but in the meantime uh, <laughs> what should we do well there is a lot to do up here um, in the Atlas Plateau uh, but I'm primarily interested at this point in uh, moving forward so I don't have a ton of goals for this area. One thing I do want to do since we're in Kaled is visit Gowrie one last time. If you don't remember, he's the old wizard who told us about Millicent, uh, the woman who was suffering from rot. Um, we have one last follow-up exchange to have with him, I believe. So let's let's check that box. As a reminder, we're staying to the right because of the dog. I mean, we could kill the dog at this point, um, but what's the point? So we can tell about the visit. Okay, that's another checkbox. Back up here. We're going to want to go to this building here, which is a church. Um, and unfortunately, I could be wrong, but I think we have to kind of take a long way around. Go back to our old friends the wind, at the Windmill Village. But this shouldn't take long. Just, you know, run, run, run. You can see it's way over there. This is a ruin. Um, I can't remember if there's anything there or not. We will try to come down here and pillage these uh, graves if we can. You can hear some lightning. Um,
So some good runes, but guarded by... Alright, well, I've had it with you guys. Oh, this is clever. You can't lock on them. may seem like overkill, but you've seen how much we use these runes. Um, they keep us out of so much trouble when it comes to leveling up. And to me, a rune 6 is definitely worth a bit of trouble. So over there is... Um, you can fight an ancient dragon. Um, and who knows, maybe later on we'll... Um, circle around and fight some ancient dragons. But right now... That's just not where my head's at. If I mess this up, I may have messed up. We'll see. Yeah, this is where the dragon turns up. That's why we can hear all that lightning. These rams will attack you. They actually hit kind of hard. There's going to be a Golden Order Knight around here somewhere. But that's what we came for. There he is. Not really useful for us. Be sure to lock on the horse and not the rider. that's that okay I'm satisfied for now um, we have some decisions to make we can go into the city or we can come up here to the castle let's just get this castle out of the way what time of day is it evening let's wait till morning this place is, oh, no, I mean, it's not awful, um, but it's not great either. Um, there's, it's mostly um, uh, reasonable. Uh, there's a couple of things that I think are uh, maybe a little harder than they should be.
be on lookout for these guys. These are the perfumers. They throw fire and it like lingers. So if you get hit by it once, it's like an area. Yeah. You're going to be playing with the distance, making sure that uh, your uh, projectile can hit him, but his can't hit you. You'll remember these kind of running uh, zombie guys. This one is um, poison, is his thing. So he'll kind of explode in a cloud of poison sometimes. Uh, which is annoying, but you know, could be worse. At least we can cure it. Um, there's really no reason not to just spam magic here. We're going to go rest again after this, so. As you can probably hear, some things probably appeared behind us, yeah. You might wonder why bother. And that is, that's a totally legitimate question. This, there's nothing really super exciting here. There's this painting, but we don't really do the paintings here, so... Go ahead and champion song. Now it's important to remember a lot of stuff I say isn't important. Um, is important in terms of the goal of this playthrough, which is to uh, help somebody uh, get through the game uh, without having to sweat too much. You know, having a nice kind of cozy playthrough to the extent Elden Ring can be cozy. That's where we're going to go eventually. I'm just coming down here. There's going to be an enemy that emerged. Yeah. Whatever. So now we'll just come down here. By now we're no strangers to this kind of junk. Um, these enemies are not a lot of trouble. We can heal poison if we need to, you know. This is all pretty whatever. there's a lot of stuff we're not going to bother to get. I mean, there's um, a lot of stuff related to making perfumes uh, that isn't, just isn't part of the package here. Um, there's some basilisks over there spewing death, um, which doesn't really uh, interest me. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that just isn't very good here uh, considering the trouble you have to go through um, there's going to be a perfumer that's going to turn up over here he's going to want to walk across that bridge oh wait no there he is 
And there's going to be another one over here. It's going to show up. There he is. Hey, partner. And of course, you know, what's he guarding? Well, nothing special. Um, but we'll come down here. There's no real reason not to. If you're worried your uh, sword's gonna run out, just top it off. There's really, there's plenty of magic. We got plenty of flasks. We don't have to be super careful with any of this stuff. So you can see, there's a basque list. Like I was saying, there's a bunch of them over there. Um, there's another one of these guys. I think I can backstab them. Yep. That we get a somber five, which by now should be kind of old news. I'm going to put this on our map. Really just so that we don't go there by accident. Um, I'm not interested in rolling around in poison mud with a bunch of basilisks. Um, yeah, just like I told y'all, it's over there. And I think there's some over on the other side of that tree, too. Um, it's quite a scene over there. Um, and we do have this ladder, which is ultimately where we're going to want to go. Um, Unfortunately, I think so. Now that's a trick. If you go down there, it's basilisks. Um, I can't remember if there's something over here or not. Poison cure. fun, wasn't it? Alright. Uh, how exciting. <laughs> Alright, where were we? There's nothing really down there. There's like a shard um, that we'll be able to see from somewhere else. And, you know, I don't think we'll be sorry we didn't come get it. Anyway, though, for now, the really important thing to do is to make sure we don't aggro any of those basilisks. So <laughs> we're coming back over here. We want to get to that ladder. And up we go.
just killing him because um, this over here is another uh, perfume bottle so if you're making perfumes you're definitely gonna want that um, I haven't decided whether I'm gonna go get it or not you do have her need to come over here Here we're oh, again. <sighs> we're getting low on magic, but don't worry, we're almost to um, spot. Just have to take this guy out. isn't going to handle that very well. Oh, clean rot helm. The Valkyrie's Prosthesis. Um, this is a key item. Golden prosth Prosthesis once used by the one-armed Valkyrie, a masterwork of craftsmanship. In practice and skill, it can be used as proficiently as a real arm. When Mali Moraes, Lord of the Shaded Castle, embraced this prothesis, he claimed to feel the presence of his personal goddess. Um, as you may or may not have guessed, we're going to give that to Millicent. She can wear it. And that will continue her quest line. So obviously the guy on the horse is um, the most pressing issue here. That should do it. We're there's a side of grace right over there, so we don't have to be shy about using our magic. That guy's obviously going to get up. And that's a trick, which is fine. We're not going to stick around. Thing four, which isn't super exciting at this point. A ladder. This may be a spot where there are two perfume guys. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up just because I can. So we're going to backstab one and then try to take out the other. And that worked out. It could have gotten a little hairier if he would have uh, thrown the fire right away. <coughs> now, excuse my cough. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. such a horrible cough you guys I'm so sorry 
Anyway. There's the perfume bottle. <laughs> We're doing pretty well. Um, I'm just about ready to level up, which is cool. And I probably will. I'll pop some runes just to go ahead and do it. We get to this side of grace. Remember not to roll. This is a big trap don't fall for it you go up there and a royal revenant is gonna appear and probably stunlock you to death um, by, all, by all means go try it if you want but don't try it when you're carrying 30 something thousand runes okay let's uh, let's get rid of those runes first and then we'll try our luck So we need 41, so like 3,000. Is that enough? It's almost enough. Try that. Okay, six. So we need to go up one in endurance. I wonder if we can change our gear now. Nice. Alright, this probably isn't going to go the way I want it to, but um, let's try. some fun <laughs> look at that look at that hell Now the real question is, will I even have anything to show for it? Some rot grease, okay. That might be it. You might get that glove wart and that's everything. So there you have it, friends. <laughs> I'm glad we were able to solve that mystery. Actually, I haven't tried that in a long time because I just thought I want to keep my runes. <laughs> Sweet. Let's move on. Wait until morning. Just checking. There's a dog over here. You don't have to fight it. Um, it's probably, I don't know, 
not a huge rush, but there's a bunch of dogs here. Um, there's one of these perfume guys over here I think yeah you can see him behind that statue Those guys are always pretty dangerous. They um, they have some pretty good combos. There's that place I said I didn't care if we went. You can see there's that star shard, um, which uh, to me is why bother. Okay, next up. I'm gonna top off my uh, health. There's no reason not to, you know. You see that rot knight over there? I don't know what they're fighting. I was supposed to be rolling through those. <laughs> but I didn't. She had another. And then this guy up here. I'm going to re up my magic. So he takes, you know, three light attacks. It's pretty strong. Gonna heal again. There's another rot knight plus some dogs. We're gonna want to move fast here. That one's pretty resilient, as you saw. Managed to take, uh, absorb a hit from our buffed sword. Another five. <laughs> we got plenty of those, don't we? This is another aggro trading boss. Um, one important thing to note here is he has this sword that he can kind of like let go and like swing out past you and he'll pull it back to him and you can get hit in the back when he pulls it back. So if he does that, you want to start like getting rolling to the side. Um, but mainly, you know, keep your distance, keep your shield up till your buddy shows up. Let's see what happens. We have a stake here, so, you know, don't panic. He does a lot of damage, but he just can't. He can't soak what we're dishing out. 
So, you know, if you stay defensive, you're going to last outlast him. Um, not a huge number of runes. Uh, that sword, though, is um, uh, pretty special. You see it has a, it does a lot of arcane scaling there. It's got a high um, arcane requirement. Um, so one of the few, few unique weapons to um, feature arcane so prominently. So, um, you know, depending on your build, it might be, you might be coming here sooner rather than later for that. We're not quite able to level up, but that's all right. We can move on. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. Let's go back here. We're just kind of going around doing some we're running errands, basically. Here's Millicent. If we go up here, we actually should see her again. The final fight of this subquest is actually really difficult, so I'm just giving you the option. Okay, I'm not. Um, we're just keeping doors open. So her summoning sign will turn up at um, at some boss fights. I don't I don't really recall which ones, uh, but it's a thing. Um, what else? I may regret this, but why don't we um, try to kill the big laser beam uh, mariner and see? See if we can clear that out. We're going to use some special equipment for that. I'm going to um, going to put on my fancy glowing claymore. I'm going to try to get down to medium load. Which is hard. You're wielding two swords. And again, uh, you know, we don't have much in the way of faith, which is how uh, this sword scales now, but it does so much damage to skeletons and such. Oh, man, come on. It just keeps going. Alright. Where'd he go? Ah, well. We've reached the tedious part of the fight. Already. Ah, there it is. It's 
So let's try to shut this thing down. Unfortunately, we have to take a break. summon the tibia which you know whatever the main thing we're here for is up at the top of the hill and these things will stay dead is, you know, pretty good. This also fires a projectile as it makes... is pretty handy. Almost there. I think it's here. Let's see. We might be one level too high. Yep, there it is. for this. I think it's worth it. There'll be three of these little skeleton dudes down here, but that's really shouldn't be a big deal for us at the moment. Sun Realm Shield. This is the pearl talisman. It uh, blocks all. It protects from all non-physical damage, or you know, so holy fire, what have you. Uh, so a good, just kind of all-around defensive item. We won't be equipping it now. Um, a lot of this stuff we only use when uh, the fights get. Uh, get pretty hairy right I mean just walking around I don't really need need that um, what's next I think that might be good for now is this a church oh yeah there's there's one more church that I guess we should do this one's a little different we should be able to handle it Put our staff back on. Oh, we can level up. 
I'm gonna talk to Milena. It's good to keep up with that. The Erd tree is close, only a little further till the foot of the Erd tree. And the accord is fulfilled. It takes me back. I was born at the foot of the Erd tree. My mother gave me my purpose. Though now, everything is lost to me. I have to ascertain for myself. The reason for which I live, burned and bodiless. Shall I turn or let my hand share them with me? Six, Your six. There we Your go. Ambitions. The principle. So, Lane is interesting. Uh, we really know the least about her. Um, <laughs> for somebody we see so much of. And, you know, I, I guess maybe that's because her main purpose is exposition. Um, but there are, you know, tantalizing implications, you know, that she's like the unnamed child of Marika, you know, that she's another um, demigod. So I think it's just to the left of these guys here. Yes. So we just need... Yep. Here we go. Now the deal with this is... Um, There's going to be an invader at this church. Um, hear that noise? That's those worm face things. Uh, there's going to be an invader at this church. And there's a couple of... I can't remember if they're blood dogs or rot dogs. You can see some blood down there. So you know, this is not a completely safe place. Um... What I'd like to do, and we'll see, I'd like to kill the dogs without having the invader turn up. So there's one of them. Notice if you look in the top left, we do have a stake of Marika active, which is great. Um, I got to decide whether I want to use Night Comet or um, Sword. I'm going to start with Night Comet and we'll just kind of run around if that's not going to work. There's our old buddy, uh, Yuna, remember? He's talked. Eleanor. It seems I am no match for you, but I've learned a thing or two myself. You see, I've sliced the finger off. Please. Please, Eleanor. And you can get his weapon. And she should show up. There she is. Oh, shit. 
Yeah. not a very impressive show of skill there um, but some things of note this uh, purifying crystal tear is the buff we need to kill a uh, moog so we can go back there whenever we want the other thing is Eleanor's pole blade uh, which is kind of a disappointing weapon really um, it's kind of a signature move um, misses a lot so it looks really awesome but it doesn't hit uh, so you know speaking as a guy who you know beat the beat beat the game with an arcade build um, it's frustrating uh, to have a weapon like that uh, it's basically a twin blade you look great you know wielding it with two hands feels really cool um, but you just miss everything it's kind of lame Anyway, um, with that done, I think we're ready to, um, for now, move into the city, believe it or not, or not the city, uh, the city limits. I like to kill this guy up here first. Um, just have it. And unfortunately, he's just going to have just a little health left. Almost KO him. So, this big, there's a couple ways you can get in. Um, you can get in over here, but there are some, uh, there's a bunch of catapults. Uh, you can also just run right up the stairs. Now, it's very heavily guarded. Or you can just skip that altogether, which is what I would do. There's ballista up there as well that you probably don't want to mess with. Um, I'm pretty sure if you go all the way up there, there's uh, one of those alien gravity monsters, unless it's in another place that is similar. We'll check it out uh, later. Uh, for now, we just want to get, yeah, you can see that gr purple cloud up there. For now, we're just, <laughs> right, we're just going to slip in. Now we can summon our buddy here, and you know, that often means boss fight. And we do, we have two of these tree guys. Um, and they're, they're kind of bad to fight head on. Um, but who said anything about fighting them head on, right? What time of day is it? Just rest. At our tier, check this out: two golden seeds. Unfortunately, at this point, I think we need to get five to level up. We got a map over here. This is our herb tree. Believe it or not, um, it's in sight. So, there's a few things we could do here, but what I really want to do is go kill those guys on horses. Um, the truth is, they're kind of cheap enemies. They're very hard to stagger, and they don't, you know, they start throwing around lightning. 
And I think I just enjoy uh, killing them. So one thing you need to know, once we get close to him, they're gonna, he's going to slow walk down. And we got to shut him down. He never had a chance. We're going to do the same to this one over here. And he'll do the same thing, and you don't want him to get down the hill, so... And that's that. Much easier from behind. The Erdtree Great Shield is, um, I believe it's the one that has the faith equivalent of carrying retaliation. Let's take a look. Yeah, golden retaliation. So that's a great shield. Um, it also has a what longer range than carrier carrying retaliation so you can further parry something further away it's I mean it's it's a really good skill it's on a great shield which really limits who can use it um, it's definitely out of our league but anyhow uh, we got enough to level up again so let's just go ahead and do that time for another on vigor just going in order, right? We're going to do Vigor, Endurance, Intelligence until we get to the next uh, five. And then we'll, uh, we'll see what's next. Um, speaking of Golden Seeds, we're going to come right over here to this little encampment. note we can summon a friend it is a good idea because surprise surprise and I would just you know well, I was gonna say let him come out oh, Is gonna do it. We get a gold seed for that. And around 10,000 runes. Pretty good. The giant crusher. Uh, I always see like phantoms of other players using it. I've never. Uh, tried to use it it's a cliche but I guess I'm always attracted to swords I mean even when I've like got a you know high strength character I'm you know I'm I'm wanting a big sword that's just what I do okay so that was a success but we're not done The next thing we want to do is come down here. Now be careful because it looks like somewhere you could just kind of, uh, you know, run wherever you want and you can actually fall through some cracks. There's a few things down here, but we're mainly interested in, you can see it from the map, you know. Look for caves on your map, these little dark dots. There's an ash of war if we slap the footsteps in the right place. Um, I lack the patience and timing to do those very well. I had to do a few of them to get the platinum. Um, and that's really the only circumstances under which I will probably do any of that. Um, but as always, you know, you should be 
if you want a hundred percent playthrough, you should be, you know, consulting some guides. You should be making sure you're getting all your legendary stuff for the platinum, because this this guide is not going to walk you through that. This guide, you know, its purpose is for beginners uh, to find a comfortable way to beat Elden Ring um, without too much, you know, stress or frustration, and um, you know, a lot of the optional or 100% content is very frustrating, right? And so, so no, I'm not, I'm not taking people through that. Our comet shard should one-shot these guys. You know the drill. If they're loose, you take them out. You know. If they're mining, it's probably okay. Um, there are a couple of wrinkles here. Um, yeah, see that guy? Vulgar Militia. There's a hidden wall behind that. We'll, be, we'll come back to it. Smithing ball bearing, what does that mean? That means we can now buy smithing stones three and four. Um, since we're currently sitting on 27 fives, <laughs> you know, that puts us free and clear all the way up to six, basically. I don't really care about the crack crystal. I'm just uh, hitting these guys for the experience. All right, let's go back to the uh the hidden passageway. Now, if you want, you can start this lift, and then you can you can walk off of the corner of it onto that branch, and you can get. Well, can you guess what that stone is? That's right, it's a smithing stone five. So, I am not gonna do that. I'm not even going to entertain that thought. It's so ridiculous to me. Um, but do what you like. You know, you know what's there. Um, this is an interesting place. Um, there are lots of these militia guys here. Um, if you're following along, you should be able to one-shot all of them with charged shots. And that may or may not be all of them. Uh, my recollection is there's always more than you expect. Yeah, there's another one. Which, yeah, I can't get from here. Let's try over here. You really don't want to get in a fight with anything while you're on these ledges. There's one of those Iron Maiden things on the ground down there. Now, if, well, I'll get to where you can see the Iron Maiden, but you see that statue there, right? It's got, it's got stones in it. Um, you can lure that Iron Maiden into hitting it. Um, the problem is that the way it hits it is very specific, so it isn't enough just to 
lured over there and then dodge. Um, you have to... Things have to be timed appropriately. And I don't think the danger is worth it. Um, but full disclosure, I think there is a six. And those are very rare at the moment. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to say it's pointless. It's not pointless. It's just not... It's not worth it to me. But it may well be worth it to you. Forgot to put these back on. A stone sword key. Now this is the way out or way forward. Um, but I'm gonna come down here. Um, that's a somber five. Rune arcs are rare and always good, so, you know, to me it's worth coming down even if you don't, even if you don't get the Maiden. Oh, that's cute. Oh, did I just hear one? I must have not killed them all. Wonder where it is. This can be a little hairy. Um, we're going to drop down and then a bunch of balls are going to blow up. Just make sure you can see them down there, right? Just make sure you're at full health and you'll probably be okay. Um, and you may want to, um, you know, if you want to be really cautious. some up there but I can't remember I think what I really want to do just do this in order old train pretty exciting Flintstone scrap. So I guess the lesson here, uh, if you're watching this, is don't bother with any of this stuff. This is a trick. There is one back here. So just, you know, activate it and then run out. This is a little tricky, as you can guess. Somebody died right here.
this is a wide one you just want to jump over to it um, there's a ledge here I think this is all junk but I'm going to check anyway sanctuary stone rune fragment golden rune 9 well that's you know that's good I'll take that and we're at the boss um, we're going to do what we always do He's not going to be able to handle both of us. That's it. Onyx Lord Greatsword, you know, it's another one of those uh, strength intelligence decks, weapons, you know, that might be nice on New Game uh, Plus. Do not go back. That's not what we want to do here. We want to keep going. What's this? It's the foot of the D Divine Tower for Atlas. Unfortunately, we haven't killed a shard bearer in this region, so we can't go inside. But it'll be easy to come back when the time comes. For now, though, let's up. Whoa. Is that what I'm supposed to do? No, I'm supposed to up endurance. Let's see if we can change our armor. Now that we've... Let's see if we can switch. Yeah. The Greaves have more poise than the Gauntlet. So that's cool, right? We're up to 47. Our gold for poise is 51. So we're closing in on it. Let's wait till morning. What else do we want to do? Well, as you can guess, there's some tiers over here that we're going to want to get. There's a uh, merchant over here. Um. There's like a catacombs over here that we are probably not going to bother with. I'm, I'm definitely not going to decide on that right now. I think all I want to do right now is ride up the road. We're going to have to fight a gargoyle. Um, but there's a stake in... We're not a state, but we're right by Side of Grace, so it shouldn't be a big deal. We'll see a summoning sign in a second. There it is. This is like a field boss. It's a one-time thing. Uh, once you kill it, it doesn't come back. Do get the great axe for that, um, which is not for us. It's a big strength weapon.
another tier another two seeds so get another flask for that So uh, we're going to end this in about 15 minutes. Um, try and decide what to do. Why don't we race ahead and unlock the next area and then we'll come back here and clean up some more. Wonder if we can beat him. probably remember him as our first big boss and that's not the last we'll see of him actually that's the other way we can come in uh, if we wanted to side of grace Melina can talk again As I said, we're, we're going to kind of come back and clear some things out for right now. Assuming I can, what I would like to do is kill what's guarding uh, the city interior. And then we'll come back out here and uh, do some cleanup. And then probably go to Volcano Manor. Um... Omen Cleaver. So I could have summoned the Mimic for this, but um, 
It's kind of a waste. I want to use uh, them for something else. Twiggy Crack Tear. Uh, the Twiggy Crack Tear is pretty cool. Um, it lasts for three minutes, and for that three minutes, if you get killed, you won't lose your uh, your runes. So it's great to drink before doing something dangerous. This is kind of a terrible run here. Let's we'll see if we can get through it. <laughs> then we're going to do the old quit and come back maneuver. Now, this is another one of those uh, tree guardians, uh, you know, the knights. Uh, this one is more dangerous, much more dangerous than the two we fought. Um, but, you know, he's still, I think we'll still be able to handle him. Um, there is a very, like, cheesy and gimmicky way uh, to defeat him. Um, which basically involves sneaking up on him and casting poison on him. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to... We're just going to go for it. just didn't have a chance. I'm surprised he didn't stagger. Um, I mean, I don't mind, but I'm surprised. Uh, Dragon Great Claw, Dragon Claw Shield, some big bad weapons for uh, strength types. And this is the innocuous entrance to the city um, because the main entrance over here is closed. So, Now again, we're not we're not coming in right now. This is later. Nice. Now, once we get uh, Vigor to 40, we'll probably take stock a little bit. Um, I mean, ultimately, our goal there is 60. Um, but we've got to you know, keep the gas on intelligence uh, just to keep up with damage. It seems like we're you know, kind of comfortably steamrolling things, but that doesn't last. You know, We have to keep pushing our damage um, or uh, it's you know, it's going to get hard, and you know, it's it's not that it won't be beatable, but you know, the goal of this playthrough is to help players kind of comfortably get through this. So, uh, for us, that's going to mean pushing damage soon. So, uh, even more than we have been with our intelligence. But my goodness, y'all, that's kind of it for now. We've come all the way up here, um, but we're going to want to we're going to want to fall back and do some other stuff in the city. Maybe we'll try to kill this gravity monster, I don't know. Um, but before we come in here and do everything, we're gonna come all the way over here to Volcano Manor. We're gonna unlock this part of the map um, and, you know, kill some bosses, uh, get some more loot, you know, the usual, level up a few times. So, uh, you know, stay tuned uh, for tomorrow's episode where we will uh, we will uh, head for uh, the volcano at the top of Mount Gelmer. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, bye now.